Let's do a volume check, very low. Let's turn it up. Acts 20, 10 through 18. Then we'll do, we're almost finished with Daniel. Tomorrow we start the last chapter, Daniel 12. 10 through 18, where are we at? Bible Gateway is acting up still. Paul went down, um, looked over him, took him in his arms. Don't worry, he said he's alive. Then they all went back upstairs in the Lord's Supper and ate together. Paul continued talking to them until dawn, and then he left. I know a whole fake world religion that um, it, I would say it's a world religion that bases all of these, all of their rituals off the book of Acts. And they say in order to achieve salvation, you must uh, meet and share in the Lord's Supper every Sunday. Or to your best abilities. Along with getting water baptized. Yeah. So, again, the book of Acts is used. And at the beginning of this playlist, I had a prelude to the book of Acts to warn you what this book was about. Anyway. Meanwhile, the young man was taken home alive and well, and everyone was greatly relieved. And again, Paul had the ability to do supernatural things because he's living in the Bible in real time as an apostle. And anytime you're living in the Bible in real time, the earth is supernatural. So it will be again, at least two days, if not the day of the fake staged ritual deadly wound event. Paul went by land to Assos, where he had arranged for us to join him while he traveled by ship. He joined us there. We sailed together to Mytilene. The next day, we sailed past the island of Chios. <coughs> the following day, we crossed the island of Samos. And a day later, we arrived in Miletus. Hang on just a quick second. Paul had decided to sail, um, sail on past Ephesus, where the Ephesians are, for he didn't want to spend any more time in the province of Asia. He was hurrying to get to Jerusalem, if possible, in time for the festival of Pentecost. But when we landed in Miletus, he sent a message to the elders of the church at Ephesus, asking, asking them to come and meet him. When they arrived, he declared, you know that from the day I set foot in the province of Asia until now. What's the end of that verse? An end of today's study. Look at the, um, the Bible gateway. Just playing games with us, isn't it? The AI. This doesn't want us to do our Bible studies anymore, does it? How did um, verse 18 end on the King James? Comma. But I've showed you and I've taught you publicly. So let's do the whole... Oh, I'm sorry, 18. Yeah, it ends in a comma. And when they were come to him, he said unto them, Ye know from the first day that I came to Asia, after what manner I have been with you at all seasons. And when we get to the rest tomorrow, I have done the Lord's work humbly, and with many tears I have endured the trials that came to me from the plots of the Jews. So, anyway. 
Very good then. Let's finish Daniel chapter 11. And at the time of the end shall the king of the south push at him, and the king of the north shall come against him like a whirlwind, with the chariots and with the horsemen and with many ships. And he shall enter into the countries and shall overflow and pass over. He shall enter also into the glorious land, and many countries shall be overthrown, but these shall escape out of his hand, even Edom and Moab, and the chief of the children of Ammon. He shall stretch forth his hand upon all the countries, and the land of Egypt shall not escape. But he shall have power over the treasures of gold and of silver and of all precious things of Egypt. And the Libyans and the Ethiopians shall be at his steps. But the tidings out of the east and out of the north shall trouble him. Therefore he shall go forth with great fury to destroy and utterly to make, to make, and utterly to make away many. He shall plant the tabernacles of his palace between the seas and the glorious holy mountain. Yet he shall come to his end, and none shall help him. Glad you're here. I love you very much. Ask questions anytime. That's what I'm here for.